What is going on, viewers? It is TVB, and I'm playing some Black Ops 2 with Anthony. Howdy. And, um, Anthony, tell me, what do you think about Black Ops 2? I mean, Black Ops 3. Well, here's the thing with Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 is a personal favorite Call of Duty of mine. I really like it. Me too. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, however, Vitas. You know, I really wasn't looking forward to another futuristic Call of Duty, but... Wait, Anthony, are you ready? Are, are you ready for me? Are you ready to what? go? We're playing Border Patrol. Yeah, 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 We're I'm playing Border Patrol viewers, in case you're wondering. Alright, 3, 2, 1, go. Like, but... I was, like, I was hoping for, like... When, um... Like, theories and stuff came out for, like, uh, the next Treyarch game, people were all like, no, it's gonna be, um... World of War Two. I, I, I also like, wouldn't have no, mind that. I, mean, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind it either, honestly. But like, yeah, I was like kind of hoping for like a, a World of War Two deal, sort of. Because like I mean, like I, in deep down, I kind of knew um, there was going there was going to be a Black Ops Three because like they wouldn't stop the series so abruptly in 2012. You know what I mean, Vitas? Yeah. I mean, I, but, I like, love the Black Ops games, but if they made another World, World War II game, maybe like Call of Duty go back to its roots. Black Ops 3, yeah, I mean, they say that there's no exosuits in Black Ops 3, but yet again, there's like cyborgs and robots and like Terminator arm and, huh, and like butterflies coming out of your gun or whatever, or in like a future yeah. setting. I mean, it, that's like saying that like you get, you're driving a car, you get into, a, you get into an accident, and the, the, the taxi, and then the cop comes over to you, and you're like, no, officer, I was not texting while driving, but yet, you have a cigarette, oh, you got me good, um, you got a cigarette in your mouth, you're shaving, you're eating a hamburger, the dog's on the lap, you're reading the newspaper, <laughs> all this crazy stuff. <laughs> I read that in a newspaper yeah, cartoon, I mean, for, if, for those of you who are wondering. All right, Anthony, after this, kill cam, don't forget to switch teams. I know. Change team, change team, change team. Alright, oh wait, I, no, I, I really swap well, on the honestly, wrong side. Like, no, we'll just swap. It's all good. Don't I really would have enjoyed like a, like, a, like a World at War... Uh, world at War? Excuse me, um, World War Two setting for Call of Duty. I think that'd be really fun. Like, a remake of World at War? Man, that would be awesome. I mean, I remember, I, I remember playing World at War like vaguely at Next House once, and it was a lot of fun. Like, I think you are over at the other yeah. side, right? Yep. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I mean, Advanced Warfare, I don't hate it as much as everyone else does. I mean, there are I, there are things I do like about it. I just feel like everything I like doing in Advanced Warfare, I just like more older cuts. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, one. Wow. Huh. What a hit marker. And, Jeez, Louise, and Ghosts, tell. Anthony, I didn't hate Ghosts as much as you did, but when people say that Ghosts is the worst Call of Duty ever made, I understand. But at least Ghosts feels like Call of Duty. I mean, Advanced Warfare, they just went overboard with the futuristic aspect. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you on that. I don't, like, Black Ops 2, like, like in the near future, I, I mean, like, I love this. Like, this setting right here, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, love this it, Black Ops 2 setting. If Black Ops 3 was, like, like back in, like, 2025, which, I mean, it was never going to be, but if it was, I would have, like, bought it, like, immediately. No question about it, you know? But Anthony, the number one thing that I'm looking forward to... What the frick just happened? I fell off. <laughs> the thing that I'm looking forward to the most in Black Ops 3, those zombies. Um, me too. Oh, got it. Oh, fuck. Okay, so after... I, I can't... I can't... I can't wait for zombies. Just, like... New guns, new maps, and all that stuff. And, like, I... I've been hearing conspiracies about, like... The first map is going to... I don't know. If, I don't know if this is true, but the first map is going to be like somewhere in Egypt. Egypt. That's interesting. Like Mal that's just a theory. That whoa, whoa, well, well, uh, uh, Anthony, Anthony, that. Anthony, you didn't change teams. Oh, oh shit! Sorry, because I was preoccupied. Okay, sorry about that, viewers. I had a little bit of a mishap. But yeah, zombies. Like you said, it's going to take place in Egypt, Anthony. I'm. I'm not sure. I mean, I've just heard like. Other people on YouTube talk about that. Like mummies? Like mummies in Call of Duty. That would be crazy. Yeah, that would be pretty interesting, but I'm not sure what was uh, going to happen. Well, like, I've been hoping for... Right, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. 
But yeah, like zombies, I they, there's apparently there's gonna be like a solo campaign also. Well, not maybe not yeah. a solo campaign, but like a campaign of some sort. And, mm-hmm. and yeah, like I said, like well, like you said, actually, um, we're more guns, more settings. Maybe like customizable characters, because like you could have done that. In, you could do that in multiplayer in Ghosts and Advanced Warfare, but you you still can't do it in Zombies or any of the Spec Ops modes. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I'm hoping for customizable characters, because that'd be pretty cool. Maybe like more ways to play, also not just like survive for as long as you can. Like the like a, a built-in one room challenge that'd be really cool. Mm-hmm. Or like gun. Ga- oh, you got me. Okay, change teams after the cuts after the kill cam. And apparently, like, you, you told me this today, Anthony, that there's going to be, like, four-player campaign or something, like a co-op campaign. Not zombies, but, like, just a normal campaign. Yeah. That would be really cool. They're, I think they, they did that in World of War, and I'm not sure if they did that in any, any other Call of Duty. Oh, my God, Anthony! Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. I, here's the thing. I'm eating right now, so whenever, like, after the cuts, after the um, the kill stre- uh, the kill cam, I'm uh, going and, get, and getting some more um, of my snack from the plate. And I'm looking away from my TV while doing so. <sighs> I'm all, like, in the middle of the ca- kill cams? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Alright. I'm, I'm sorry, viewers. We got more mishaps. Okay, let's try this again, viewers. So, yeah, Black Ops... <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. Uh, Black Ops 3. But, yeah, right. Treyarch's always been my favorite out of the three developers. Like, I, like I said, I've been playing since Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I mean, you know, I um, I like each developer for their own, their own like. Each developer I like for different reasons. Like I like um, uh, what do you call it? Infinity Ward because like in MW two and M- like first off MW two I think was a really good game. Just like an old school nice nice Call of Duty that I just have some nostalgic feelings for. Hey, and are you ready? Like, are you ready? Um, the, uh, yeah, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. And go. also, like, in their um, in other Infinity Ward games, their uh, Spec Ops I find really, really fun. Oh yeah, Modern Warfare Three, like survival, that was the shit. Like that was before I got Xbox Live, so all I do is campaign and Spec Ops. And Spec Ops, that was a lot of fun. It, it's pretty under it. A lot of people don't like survival, but I love it. Is that so? I don't know. I like Spec Ops, and like. Treyarch, I I fucking love Treyarch zombies, dude. I mean, I'd That's say shit right I there. would say Infinity Ward for um the campaign and for the campaign, Treyarch for everything else. You know, I never played the Infinity Ward campaign. Well, I mean, I played Modern Warfare Three campaign. It's actually a really good story. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Anthony, don't forget to change teams this time. I swear, if you forget to change I teams, just did. oh okay, I just changed. Good boy. How did you hit me with that one? Look, I missed the door here. No, oh, ma'am. I mean, I haven't played that much of Black Ops 2's campaign. I didn't even touch the Ghost or um slut or the um, Advanced Warfare campaign. No. Oh, we spawn I mean, like, on opposite sides. So uh, don't kill me. I'm running off to the other side. The thing with Infinity Ward, like the only reason why I didn't buy. Um, I mean, actually, no, not Infinity Ward, uh, Sledgehammer, I didn't buy their game, because, like, I already had Titanfall. Now, if I'm correct, I think Advanced Warfare went into development before Titanfall, but I got Titanfall before Advanced Warfare came out. And they're just two similar games, you decided there's no point? Yeah. Like, like they're, they're really, really similar. I mean, Advanced Warfare has probably more maps... A lot more guns than um, a campaign. I, f- like, I feel like the thing that killed me, the, that killed the advanced warfare me for most, is um, the weapon variants. It's like it, it's just not unnecessary. What I do, the thing like, like I I ray Anthony. Mm-hmm. Okay, three, two, one. I'm going. But I feel like the thing I like the most. I don't know why about advanced warfare is like the sound effects and the graphics that I love about advanced warfare. It's just an all out feast. Yeah. It's, it's an all out feast for your eyes and your ears. Ooh. I haven't played Advanced Warfare that much to really notice the the sound quality. Well, it's really good, I'm just saying. 
And yeah, like I, I, I don't know anything about campaign. I mean, I, I guess, I guess it's okay. I mean, for Call of Duty standards, like Kevin Spacey was like one of the, act, the voice actors or some person like that. Yeah. But I'm really interested to see. Uh oh. Oh, thanks, Vitas. I'm really interested to see where Call of Duty is heading next. Because, I mean, they, yeah, they, me they've, they've changed so much, like, from their mm -hmm. origins. It's like literally going through time with Call of Duty. Because, like, well, they start with, like, you know, World, with, like World War One and Two, and now they're, like, futuristic shit. If they, like, plunge more into the future, I'm gonna really lose my interest in a uh, Call of Duty franchise. Just because I feel it's, like, the same thing over and over. Pretty soon it's, it's probably gonna turn into, like, Halo. Oh! Like, a bunch of laser guns and stuff like that. I, I wouldn't. I mean, the, like, the most laser weapons you get in Advanced Warfare is, like, the EM-1 or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I mean, that thing's a lot of fun in Exo Survival, when multiplayer is not that good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, do you... I What, what else do you want to say? about Black Ops 3, or what your thoughts on it? You know, the only thing that's really keeping me with the uh, Call of Duty franchise in, in, um, in general is just Treyarch Zombies, and that's about it. I mean, Advanced Warfare, like Sludgehammer, what they did, they, they tried to do zombies, and I, I give them... Exo Zombies? That. Remember, remember that, that video we made back in January? Yeah, Exo Zombies. I mean, it's not the greatest, and the new map, um, Infection, I don't think is too great. Oh, and by the way, I'm ready, Vitas. And it's just... Oh, I'm not. I'm mean, not. Let me just take care of something really quick. Like, um, what's it? Uh, Sludgehammer Zombies, I just don't feel is the same as Treyarch Zombies. Yeah, the I Zombies. I fun playing uh, Treyarch Zombies, and that's pretty much, like I said, the only thing mm -hmm. that's gonna... I mean, okay, I'm ready. With I'm ready. Guys. There it goes. But, I mean, Exo Survival, I mean, it's not that huge of a success. I mean, I love, like I said, I love Survival Modern Warfare 3, but the thing is with Modern Warfare 3, Survival, it only went up to two players. Exo Survival goes yeah. up to four players. Right now. That's a good thing. You are going the right direction, right? Indeed I am. Oh. Come back here. I want to shoot you, little boy. Oh, but yeah, I mean that's all I really have to say about Black Ops Three. After this round, do you want to like call it quits? Uh, yeah, that sounds about good. All right, viewers. Well, the rest of this video is for your own enjoyment. Well, I mean this whole video is for your own enjoyment, but it's like now we're just trying trying to snipe him. Ooh, you sneaky! You're sneaky. Sneaky's my middle name, Vitas. Did you know that? Really? No, it's not. <laughs> Well, Vitas is my middle name. Hey, hey, hey! hey. Everyone oh. out of ammo, Vitas. Guess who's coming up to greet you? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we play this game with the ballista and iron sights. I love the ballista with iron sights. I think that make this game a lot more fun. Uh oh, I see you. Oh, I missed. <laughs> that, that, that was almost the end for me right there. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh boy! Ah, fuck! Whoa, where is it? Where did you go? Where did you go? Oh! The hit Marcus B. Hit, 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 oh. hit, hit, and I thought you got stuck in the hit. <laughs> I thought you got stuck in the hit markers. Oh. Or the the shock the shock charges. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh man, bait him out. Uh, okay, apparently this is Juggernaut because you're just trying to bait me out now. Ah! Oh, what? Oh man. <laughs> Let's watch this kill cam. <laughs> oh, that, that, this is funny. All right, viewers. Oh, well, shit. do you agree with us? What do you think about Black Ops Three? Are you guys excited for it? Or are you guys think it's going to be more poo poo from Activision? Let us know in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. See you later.